Hey everybody, so it has been an interesting week. I have made some big decisions and I will talk to you about those decisions in a little bit, but ignore the fiberglass boards behind me. Um, family is in construction, so there's constantly construction material around. <laughs> so that is what that is behind me right now is fiberglass boards. But we are going camping next weekend and I have had to repurchase everything because let me tell you the story, okay? Um, when Aaron and I first went camping together, we stayed at this spot and there were a ton of coyotes. Um, we could hear them going everywhere. And <laughs> there were raccoons everywhere trying to get into our tent. We didn't even have food in our tent. We kept it in the car because we didn't want the raccoons bothering us. Um, we ended up not sleeping in our tent <laughs> and sleeping in the car. Um, and I don't think we e either one of us slept. I think we just stayed up all night watched um, stuff on our phones and read books. I think that's really what we did was we just read and we tried to sleep but it just did not work. Um, <laughs> it's not a good experience. So I, I don't know if we've camped any other time. I don't think so because after that we were like we were never camping again. Then we decided to camp when I was hugely pregnant with Seth and that summer we learned that Ethan was very allergic to sunscreen certain types of sunscreen and he got all swollen and it was it was a really bad experience um not to mention i was hugely pregnant okay so very uncomfortable sleeping outside in the heat that pregnant uh and then to top it off we had a huge storm that flooded because we were camping right on the river and it like flooded the whole thing and it was lightning and the wind was crazy. It freaked Ethan out because he was like only three. And <laughs> it was just a bad experience. So we ended up packing up and leaving early from that camping trip. And then after that, we just decided we were not tent camping people. We were probably more RV cabin camping. Um, however, my children really want to go try to camp in a tent. They want to do it. So that is what mommy is doing. We are going camping in a tent. And when I tell you, I am not super excited about sleeping outside because of the experiences I've had with my late husband. Um, just a little teeny tiny nervous <laughs> about doing this. Um, but, you know, uh, we're just all about the experience right now. So, this is what they want to do. This is what we're going to do. So, I've had to start all over with my stuff. Um, I am not at my home, obviously. Um, I've got to update you guys that here in a little bit. But, um, all of my camping stuff accidentally got thrown away. Uh, everything like we had a ton of stuff um, and it all got thrown away on accident because it was put in the wrong spot and it got tossed so I have to start all over so I'm gonna show you guys what I've got this go around um, we're gonna go through some stuff that my mom has to see if we need to add anything to it um, because obviously I don't want to spend a whole bunch right now you know see if the kids like it first um, but most likely we will be camping quite a bit this summer. We're going to be outside a lot this summer, so I'm going to have to go get a lot of sunscreen. So if you have good recommendations on sunscreens, um, that you guys like with kids with sensitive skin, please let me know. I'm going to show you everything that I got starting over because that is what my life is now is Sasha is starting over with her two kids. You know, we have to figure out what home is and everything is just a whole new, new thing. It's a whole new journey. It's... It's crazy, but I'm hoping you guys can see a little bit more light in my face um, now that I've made this decision. Um, we'll see. I don't know. So the tent that I went with is an eight-person tent. I wanted something that Ethan and I could stand in comfortably. Um, and this one says it fits two queen beds side by side. So I figured that's enough room for the three of us. Plus, um, you know, I'm not always going to go with just the three of us. So I have lots of family here. <laughs> which is nice. It is a two room tent. Um, I, sh I saw one that had like the screened in like almost deck situation, like porchy situation. I don't know what it's technically called. Again, not a camper, um, but I'm learning. So I don't know. I got this one. We'll see. Um, I got the tarp for underneath just in case. And then these were on clearance. They're built in pump. 
um, and my mom has a um, and we'll have access to be able to plug that in to fill them so I'm not really worried about that but eventually I'm sure if I go somewhere that doesn't have electrical I will need to get a battery pump but I got a twin for <sighs> Ethan <laughs> and a full for Seth and I um, at least for now as they grow we'll figure all that out later but you know for now it works um, I got this. It was only $10 at Walmart. Comes with three flashlights, so we each get our own. Already had the batteries, which is awesome. And then two headlamps for the boys. I figured they wear them. I probably won't. Um, so I didn't get myself one. Uh, let's see. I got sleeping bags. I just got these three. Um, they really didn't have a whole lot of options, so I don't know if everybody out here is going camping right now or what the deal is, but this was kind of the only option. So those were the sleeping bags that I got. I did find this camping fan. It's a fan light. It's solar powered and you can plug your phone into it. So it's all also a power battery pack. So I'm gonna give this one a go and see how we like it. Um, but I definitely want to look into more fans because <laughs> I don't like being hot. We are gonna be near a river though. So we're gonna be able to get in the river. Um, I was watching some TikTok videos and someone highly recommended this stuff. It is to prevent mosquitoes, ticks, and other yucky, itchy bugs. Um, so apparently you put this on your clothes, your, camp, your hiking gear, and your tents. So I'm going to spray the tent with it, I think. Um, and then the boys' shoes, because I don't want ticks. Like, ticks are not, <laughs> not something I want to deal with. Um, but I'm going to get peppermint oil because I heard peppermint oil works to get them out because they don't like it. So I've got to grab, remember to do that. Hopefully Sasha editing will remember to put that on the list. Um, and then I got this. I figured that would be good to have. This comes with some towelettes and then two cans of off. I'm sure I'm going to go through a lot of bug spray and sunscreen because like I said, my family out here spends a lot of time outside. Um, so we'll probably be outside a lot. Uh, this is the sunscreen that I have right now. I generally use mineral sunscreen on Ethan um, because he's more of a sensitive skin. So we have the Air Republic spray and cream, I guess. And then this one, Ethan, or Seth, my Lanta. I keep doing that a lot lately. Um, Seth tends to be able to use a mineral based sunscreen he they're both very different um i don't know it's so weird some how they react to different things so i got this one for seth this one for ethan and i can pretty much use whatever so it doesn't bother me so i'll use probably which whichever one um but i'm definitely going to need to be getting more sunscreen <sighs> i got this after sun body spray I don't know it smelled good so that was the primary reason I got it but I also got my favorite one which is the Hawaiian Tropic Silk Weightless Coconut Papaya so good love that one got that for myself and then I got this one for the boys um, I'm also gonna get some aloe and make sure I have some spray for bug bites and um, sunburn just in case that does happen I'm gonna make sure to have all of that stuff this is just what I have right now all right moving over I grabbed three camping chairs. Um, I just got the cheap ones for now. Like I said, I don't want to go all crazy, crazy, crazy until I know that they enjoy doing this. Um, so we'll see. And because we are going to be on the river, um, we are, I got us all life jackets because you have to have life jackets when you're on the river. <laughs> so I got Seth his little baby one and then Ethan and I are in adults. Can you believe it? He's as big as I am guys. He is as tall as I am now. It's insane. Um, it's, it's crazy. And I got Sethi this cute little snack time towel. I got this at Five Below. If you guys also have a little one that loves sharks. Seth is obsessed with sharks. So, And then I just got the basic towels from Walmart for Ethan and I because Ethan really could care less. Um, for in the river, I got some river tubes. 
Um, I got myself the colorful one, a little rainbow. Um, Ethan is going to have blue, and Seth is obsessed with green, so of course he's going to get the green in the tube. Um, one of the games that I got to play, it's small enough that I feel like it's reasonable to take, is washer toss. I thought that would be fun to play outside. Um, I got Ethan and I some water shoes. They were completely out of Seth's size. Um, Walmart for these, five below for mine. Um, so I had to order Seth a pair on Amazon. They will be here in a couple of days. Um, it's pretty much right in time for us to go. And I figure if I find any cheaper, um, I can just return them to Amazon later. Uh, I did get the boys' goggles. I have no idea if they're going to actually use these things, but I got Ethan a pair of goggles. And then Seth, of course, like I said, <laughs> love the sharks. And you guys are going to ask me where I got this. Um, it was at a store that is only in this area, and I, I'm going to avoid saying it um, just for safety reasons. I don't want to... Um, give away where I am. I snorkel. Um, I don't know if he's going to like this thing over his nose or putting that in his mouth. He kind of gets claustrophobic. So that is everything that I have right now. I'm obviously going to be done camping by the time you guys see this video because I'm trying to keep them a, um, ahead for me but behind for you guys if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, any future advice would be great because we are probably going to be doing this a couple more times at least this summer. But, um, yeah, I guess that's, that's it. Um, I'm going to try to figure out the cooking stuff, <laughs> um, and the food and all that the next trip, but I wanted to get like a huge chunk of it done today. Um, so still, you know, I'm going to get all the, the cooking necessities and everything when we go get groceries and after we've gone through my mom's stuff to see if she has anything, um, that we can use at least for now, but yeah, that's what we're doing. <laughs> um, now on to kind of like the big update. Um, the boys and I have been talking and it has been almost 10 months since Aaron passed and I said that I was going to at least wait nine months before I made any huge decisions. Um, so it's been almost 10. We're coming up on 10 here in a couple weeks. Um, we have decided that we are selling the little blue house. Um, it's just, it doesn't feel like home to any of us anymore. And every time we go back, it's just, it's not good for any of us, to be honest. Um, it's, it's a lot of like, uh, it's kind of triggering to be honest with you. Um, it's just, it's not a place. And we've all basically said that it is unfortunately a place of bad memories now instead of good ones. Um, it's just somewhere we don't want to be anymore. So, um, I will be selling the little blue house and we are going to be moving. We are moving officially, um, this summer. So, I will be staying with family. Um, the boys and I will be staying with family until we find our own place. Um, obviously with housing market the way it is, we don't know how long that's gonna be. So I very well could be living with my family for a while. Um, but that's okay because my mom has an apartment downstairs, uh, which is where the boys and I stay. Um, so we all have our own space. Uh, we just share the kitchen, which is not a big deal. So. Um, yeah, but we have our own own little rooms and it's basically extra bedrooms downstairs. They're going to turn it into an apartment at some point, but for now, <laughs> we just share a kitchen because it's just easier that way. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I've, I've decided to move. I've decided to come out here and be closer to my family um, because I do have a lot more support out here. Um, than I do out where Aaron grew up. Um, I am going to miss my friends tremendously. I have uh, about five really good friends out there and they have been amazing. Um, and all of them have said, Sasha, you just gotta do where it, you've gotta do and where you're gonna be best. And um, they've been really good and it's hard because I'm like, I, I want to find 
friends like that here and you know who knows we'll see but that's what we've decided um, I think that's gonna be the hardest thing is just packing up everything and moving it out here huh bud yeah you excited to move yeah yeah you excited to go camping yes <laughs> Yeah. Um, but yeah, so over the next couple of months, we'll probably be um, going back and packing everything up and getting a U-Haul and moving it over here. Um, and then I've got to call a couple of realtors and we're going to get the house up on the market and see if it sells. Um, I'm sure it will sell. I'm just hoping it sells for at least what I owe on it. Um, I'm not really, I just, I want out of it at this point so hopefully the market over there is as crazy as it is over here because if it is then for sellers it's gonna be great <laughs> um, we'll see but I'm sure somebody will buy it I'm just hoping it doesn't take too long because <sighs> maintenance on it while I've been gone has been stressful but I've had family um, my sister Rachel and um, her husband have been helping a lot through all of this so they have been helping and they fully support us moving um, out here with my family um, and we'll go visit right yeah yeah um, so we'll definitely be out there to visit and everything but I think this is this is the best decision right bud yep yep so on that note I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because it's a little bit long so it was just like a camping haul slash chatty update <laughs> and only those of you who truly watch everything are gonna really know exactly what's going on in my life because I'm not gonna title this I'm moving um, nobody's gonna find out I'm moving until much later if they don't watch these little vlogs like this but um, yeah I guess that's it I'm getting hungry are you getting hungry Nah. You didn't have lunch. I haven't had lunch yet. Um, so, we'll see how crazy this gets, guys. And I yeah. will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs>